us, Lord. Our true salvation in you, where you paid our sin. Lord Jesus, where you, Lord, purchased our salvation. And Lord Jesus, it's Father, through the cross that we come. It's through the blood of Jesus Christ we come. Oh Lord, we're just meeting you there, Lord Jesus, Father. Coming through that precious blood that was spilled for us. Oh Lord, on that day when you paid it all. Lord Jesus, Father, as you hung there, you said it's finished. And we believe that, Father. We believe it's finished. We believe you finished the work. We believe, Lord Jesus, Father, today that you're here, Lord. Not only have you finished the work, but you're here today to claim all that you purchased. And Lord Jesus, I pray, Father, that tonight, Lord, if there is any person in here that has not been claimed yet, Lord, let tonight be the night, Lord, when the mighty angel himself comes down and when the pillar of fire goes and hovers over the wooden box, hovers over that body, hovers over that person and begins to meet them. Lord Jesus, I pray, Father, that you would go to every pew, go down to every seat, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, come to every family, every child. Lord, we're calling on your name. Meet us, Lord Jesus. Father, meet each individual. Lord, I pray, Father, that you would lay claim on your inheritance. Oh, Jesus, Father, take control of every spirit in this room, Lord. Father, I ask, Lord, that the, there would be no distraction this evening. I believe, Lord Jesus, that you are here to fellowship with us. Lord Jesus, Father, there is no limit to the worship. There's no limit to the revelation. There's no limit to the power of deliverance and the power of healing and the power of the rapture which is contained within the bride. Oh Lord, and I ask, Father, that you would bring each one of us to a closer walk with you. And Lord Jesus, we would have fellowship with you like never before. Draw us closer, Lord. We've entered your gates now with thanksgiving. We've entered your courts with praise. And now today, Lord, Forgive us, Lord, if there's anything wrong, anything we've done. Lord, we just lay it at your feet. We just ask, Lord, that the blood of Jesus Christ will wash over us now. As we approach your throne, Lord, we depend on your righteousness. We depend on you. And tonight, Lord, I ask, Father, for a clarity. Lord, I ask, Father, that you would just come with that quickening power that raised Christ out of the grave. Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Who's glad to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. Glory to God. Why are you standing? Let's turn our scriptures to Colossians 1. Now read verse 7 to 11. Thank you, musicians. Verse 7 to 11. To 11. I just want to say to you all that I really love you with all my heart. And I'm really thankful to be here. Very thankful to brother Pastor Johannes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Very thankful to Muruti Moses for enabling these things to happen and being out. Being our campaign managers. <laughs> We're very grateful. Who's grateful today? I just want you to invite the Lord Jesus to where you're at. Amen. As I said last night, this is personal. Yeah. So, so, whatever we cover, let it be personal. Amen. Amen. Let's read. As ye has have, as ye also learned of Epaphras, our dear fellow servant, who was for you a faithful minister of Christ who also declared unto us your love in the Spirit. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, 
and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of His will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to His glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Amen. You may be here. You may be seated. I want to speak this afternoon on a subject called David's Secret Weapon. Brother David's very happy about that. <laughs> he likes it when preaching about David. <laughs> David had a secret weapon. He could see beyond the scene to the prophetic picture. He could see the bigger picture. Because he could cross over into that dimension. And the word has been opened in our generation. So that you can also cross over. But crossing over will do something for you which will cause you to bubble over. It will break all formality out of your life. You will not be able to contain yourself. You will no longer be able to control yourself. And you will bubble over until you don't even think about what you're doing. We're going to stop thinking about what we're doing when it comes to worshipping God. You can just, we're just going to stop this whole self-style thing going on. Let's not be a, 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 a pious message believer. Get rid of that English thing. That's from the Englishman. Amen. But even the Englishman, when he drinks enough wine, when he drinks enough wine, he's going to lose control. He's going to start telling the truth. He won't be subtle anymore. He will speak what's in his heart. And so when you start drinking the wine, you will stop, you will start speaking what's on your heart. I'm not talking about natural wine. I'm talking about the wine of revelation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. David had a secret weapon. David, he could cross over into the eternal worship. He crossed over into the oldest religion there is. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm you know what the oldest religion there is? You uh, know? It was the religion that God spoke to Job about. Amen. That religion was the religion of shouting. And the religion of singing. And the religion of singing. And the religion of singing. The sons of God shouted for joy. Okay. Amen. 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 Glory to God. I just... I, I, I really felt on my heart to start with the scripture. I wanted to speak it over you. Because the things that we've experienced this weekend have taken all of us into a closer walk with God. We have been healed from all sorts of things of the past. We've been healed from unforgiveness. We've been healed from bitterness. We've been healed from hurts of the past. We've been healed from racial abuse. 
Spirits. Even if it's just a tiny little thing. It's the little fox that spoils the vine. But we got healed. Have you been healed? Have you been restored? Have you been Have you been changed? That's why we can go. But he couldn't speak this over the Colossians until he could see that they had the love that he needed. The divine love of God was the love of God. So perfect love had come to the Colossians. And so Paul began to pray this over there. So that they could walk in joyfulness. They could come into the deeper revelation. And come into their maturity. Ready. To bring forth the millennial condition. We are right in the time of a change. We are in a time of transition. To the age of the son of David. And it's crossing over within the heart already. The heart is having the change first. The coming of the Lord has begun. It's not something in the future. It's already happening now. For the Lord has descended. And it's descended with a shout. If 
Then he's going to rise in your life. He is anointed within you to bring the seventh seal out of silence. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's why David was celebrating. And that's why we celebrate. Because the ark is not silent anymore. The Lord is speaking. Sometimes we worry about what the other ministers will think. Sometimes we worry about what the other brothers and sisters think. And it holds us back from truly worshiping. The prophet calls that self style. I'm just going to read some stuff. Otherwise, I will run out of voice. Yeah. I've got to finish this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I just love celebrating. He's worthy of it. When you're hot and tired, he's worthy. Oh, my, I just can run down there. Like the song leader, he ran down there. Because he's got something to shout and celebrate. We've got something to celebrate. And that is the secret of worship. That's the very thing that will come to the enemy. Just like David and Zaclad. When everything was down. The chips were down. It was all over by the looks of it. But David had a secret. David had a secret with him. He began to worship. He began to celebrate. He was going through a deep trial. But he began to celebrate. He was going through hard times. But he began to celebrate. His family was lost. But he began to celebrate. Because he had a secret weapon. And you've got a secret weapon. The third pool is in your heart. The Lord is shouting in your heart. The voice of the resurrection is speaking to your life. The voice of the resurrection is speaking to your life. So when you begin to worship, and when you begin to praise, you begin to create an atmosphere. The voice of the resurrection begins to speak to bring more souls out of death, to bring your families in, to bring your children back home, to bring your family in, to go out there. And take back what the enemy stole from you. To take that elect seed that the enemy stole from you. To take back that character that the enemy is trying to steal from you. Glory. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 
just want to read this over you. Glory. Because there is love here. There is love. Amen. I can speak this over you like Paul spake it over the pillars of Colossians. I desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will. In all wisdom and spiritual understanding that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. Do you know how to please the Lord? Just believe. Only believe. For all he asks. For by faith the elements obtained a good report. But without faith you cannot please God so with faith it's impossible not to please God because when you have faith you've crossed over into the realm of worship unto all pleasing being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Strengthen with all might. I want you to receive that. Hey. Receive it. This is more than just a reading of the scripture. I already found this one. For you to receive these things. Strengthen with all might. According to his glorious power, we are unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Now, I want, you, I want to bring a definition to the word walk. When he's talking about walking worthy of the Lord. This is what it means. It means to tread all around. To tread all around. Don't stand, don't sit still. Don't sit still. You let God come into you. And you begin to tread all around. Taking your It's time to trade all around. Oh, 
God can bring forth more life. In a moment, charity. And more fruit. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's true. Trade all around. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Next one's gonna be an even worse. <laughs> Getting ready. Amen. 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 The next meaning of the word walk. Is to walk at large. Do you know what walk at large means? That means that you've escaped jail. It means you've escaped prison. You've escaped the jail of the devil. Because someone came your way. And spoke over your life and brought you to Jesus. And they had prayer meetings. Do they have prayer meetings? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We have moments where we fall. Even the prophets you know, in a backslide every day. But it's time when the Lord comes down into a service like this. All the prayer meetings that have happened. When we were praying just before in the service, that was like the prayer meeting at John Mark's house. Because there was people praying for people. Just in here, people were praying for people in here. People want their children saved. People want the baptism of the Holy Ghost. People want to be born again. People want deliverance. And so we prayed. And now the angel of the Lord is coming down. And he's coming to your pew. And he's knocking on your side. And he's saying, Come on, come on. 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 Come and he was chained to the guards. But the angel of the Lord came to the service. And he began to talk what was in your heart. He began to speak down what your problem is. And he began to tug at your heart. And your heart becomes convicted in the service. It's the angel of the Lord knocking on your side. The angel of the Lord was waking Peter up. Because you see, Peter wasn't finished with. And God had a purpose for Peter. He had a purpose to fulfill. And you had a purpose. God wants to use you. It doesn't matter how old you are. Hallelujah. David was 13 years old. When he killed the bear and the lion, yeah. God used him. Yeah. When David killed the lion, yeah. he was about 15 or so years old. Yeah. So you're not too young. The Lord is taking your side. Yeah. He's saying, Wake up, my son. You're going to be free, my son. You're going to be free, my daughter. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. And when he woke up, he stood, he said, Stand up, Peter. And as Peter stood up, he obeyed the voice of the mighty angel. And his chains fell off. The blood of Jesus Christ breaks every chain. It doesn't matter what your past is. The devil might be telling you you've gone too far. You're stuck too far in drugs. You're stuck too far in some sin. But the angel of the Lord is touching your side. And he's saying, wake up. And as you stand, Hallelujah. Amen. you begin to rise. Because the voice is speaking to you. And you rise up. And the chains fall off. And the chains fall off, and you start walking. I'm beginning to walk at large. You're beginning to walk free from the prison. That's something to celebrate. That's something to be happy about. Because you are free. No more prison for you. No more control. No witchcraft can touch you no more. No horrible spells can hold you no more. Because you're a large. You're a fugitive. And you're so full of love. Until the devil can't touch you. So Peter walked out of the prison. Peter walked out of the prison. Oh, Peter, see, Peter, see. And as he walked out of the prison, 
He realized it was more than a dream. Yeah. And you may think it's only a dream for you to have the joy of the Lord. But you may think it's only a dream for you to have the joy of the Lord. You may think it's only a dream for you to have a supernatural life. It's more than a dream. All you need to do is stand up and walk out. They usually find you. And they usually arrest you. And they usually arrest you. They usually arrest you and take you back to prison. But we got a secret weapon. When that becomes to happen, when the devil's on your tail, when the devil's on your tail, and he's chasing you down, all that can happen. That you can become more like Jesus. It makes you stronger. It brings revival in your life. Because you're a fugitive. Amen. 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 The final meaning of the word walk. Is to deport oneself. God is calling you to deport yourself. You understand? Oh, okay. <laughs> God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. I've done that twice now. <laughs> Amen. The final meaning of the word walk. Is to walk in the way of the Lord. Is to walk in the way of the Lord. To deport oneself. Um, to deport myself, to deport yourself from one nation to another nation. Is that right? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. It's time that we deport ourselves. We're no longer part of this national spirit. We're no longer subscribed to the devil's channel. We're no longer part of the culture of the devil. But we are called to walk. To deport ourselves from one to another. Do you want to know how? I'll show you. That's right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. So when things get hard, yeah. when you just begin to dance, yeah. and you begin to celebrate, yeah. you get yeah. the king who is inside you. Yeah. The king who is inside you. Yeah. Amen. 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 The prophet says this. Yeah. The prophet says, Fundamental doesn't mean too much. Uh, it is the revelation of God. Amen. So the reason you do this. <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. You can just start dancing around with me. <laughs> Fundamental doesn't mean too much. It's the revelation of God. So I want to talk about why we do this. Why are you dancing? 
Why are you celebrating? Why are they re, 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 re celebrate? Because every divine expression. Amen. Every divine expression. And, uh, divine uh, expression. When we are meeting, as God expresses His word. It is a divine expression. expression of The word of God itself. Is a divine expression. It's the thoughts of the Father. Amen. It's the thoughts of the Father. It's being expressed in word form. It is a divine expression. Expression And every divine expression. And has an appropriate response. The divine expression is omnipotent. So the expression and, yeah. the, and the response is also omnipotent. So every divine expression so, uh, has an appropriate response. And this is the response of the bride. So that when she hears the word, she begins to respond. And it's appropriate. So because he's calling you into victory to go beyond the camp of your own limitations. To go beyond the camp of your culture. To go beyond the camp of your hurts and past. To go beyond the camp of your and respond to the word appropriately with power with faith until it's revelation as you're hearing it and so as you hear the word you begin to get revelation as you're listening it becomes more than knowledge you don't have to sit here and learn on your head but revelation can go straight to the heart. Because every divine expression has an appropriate response. I want to tell you a story. I was in Vietnam on a mission trip. And we had a bit of downtime in Hanoi, which is the capital. Amen. We had a bit of downtime in our mission trip. We are in downtown, more more And we were in Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. We are in Hanoi, Vietnam. And we were walking around the center. So we are in more 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 more. And we were talking to different people about the Lord. We were in the And we were also eating lots of ice cream. So I went to the ice cream bar and And just having a bit of a, a nice time. So I was very excited. That's all. But then there was a big concert that started. So, it was a concert that had all these pop music. And there was thousands of Vietnamese people. So, Young people. Like about 12 to 18 years old. And they were sitting there watching the screen. And so we stopped there and had a look. Because they were making these funny noises. I want to tell you how these people worship the devil. And I pray it stirs you. So that you can respond to the word properly. So that you realize how much the, the, the Lord is looking for a response from you. Because when I saw this, I was deeply moved. These young children were watching a screen of the pop stars. And as each pop star came on the screen, they all screamed. They screamed as one. The atmosphere was electrical. They were mesmerized. Glory to God. And I was looking at this. And I said to my brother, 
living inside you. Do not iron out. Before I go any further, I'm just going to speak to Satan. Satan, Satan, hurt not the oil and the wine. Amen. Hurt not the oil and the wine. Amen. Hurt not the oil and the wine. You may be sitting next to the speaker, that speaker. Blow him the hearing, the hearing's on. Also, I'm going to go out. Hurt not the oil and the wine. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm speaking there in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the wine is going forth. The bride is getting drunk on the wine. Amen. 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 The bride is getting drunk on the wine. Amen. 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 She is celebrating in the feast of wine. Why get in the wine? Because it's time. Because you know. In the feast of wine. For the salvation of your people. Not for to save us For the salvation of your people. Not for put us in the hell. And the defeat of Haman. What? Amen. The defeat of your enemy. That is because of the revelation. Because our worship because, uh, is based on revelation. It's not based on intellectual. It's not based up here. But it's based up here. If it's not real worship. It must be a response. To who his revelation. What it must be a response. Amen. To his revelation. Who could you lay high? Amen. But I'm just speaking that. Do you know what I say? Because I believe. Because you tell me. Under the opening of the third seal. The Lord Himself. Spoke over Satan. And He told him. That He cannot interfere. With the worship of the bride. With the baptism of the Holy Ghost. With the bride rejoicing in revelation. So I'm encouraging you. So if you're oil and wine is going low, if you are being there, I want to make sure that if your oil and wine is going low, if you are being there, I want to make sure that if the devil is a liar, Satan is a liar, and it's time for you to start celebrating. Then I want to make sure that you start dancing. Because when you dance, so how do you? You're dancing around the ark. Oh, 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 That's from 2 Samuel chapter 6. Samuel we read in Holy Book of Samuel, verses 11 to 15. And the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obed-Edom the Gittite three months. And the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obed-Edom the Gittite three months. And the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and all his household. And it was told King David, saying, The Lord has blessed the house of Obed-Edom and all that pertaineth unto him. Because of the ark of the book of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom into the city of David with gladness. Amen. And it was so that when they that bear the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed oxen and fatlings. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. 
I just want you to see that. Tira kau di mana sahul? And David danced before the Lord. Dance, David Tabina, Bila Amaray. He wasn't dancing because everyone else was dancing. Iba asa bini kalau bak, amen. He wasn't dancing because everybody else was dancing. Iba asa bini kalau bak darah macam kau bawa bini. He was dancing before the Lord. Bawa bini Bila Amaray. He was responding. Behafetula. To God's divine expression. Who, who expression yang mudi? Because you see, the ark was coming into its position. Araka beita boleh. He could see the great significance. Bahana wana. Butuh apa bohol? Because the ark of God. Kau araka ya mudi. The seventh seal. Lukutu na busu. Must be in the heart. Twenty men more below. It must be out of silence. Twenty is great is a humul. And so it was a great celebration. So we are now going to get to go and hold. That under the ministry of David. That as we are ready for David. That the ark would come. Or the ark would go out into Jerusalem. Yeah, to go to Jerusalem. And it would come into the city of David. Yeah, to move from the city of David. And David would dance before the Lord. David had been in the mood. With all his might. Now we are going to dance. That's why we dance. That's why we. We're dancing with all of our might. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We're dancing. Ravi. Because we're dancing before the Lord. I'm not dancing before you. I'm dancing before Him. I'm dancing before God. He's inside me. And so I can just dance around. So I'm dancing around the ark. So I'm dancing around the ark. So I'm dancing around the ark. Oh, 
And it's time to shut those things. Now I'll give a Bible to let so that you can truly worship God. So that you can be shameless. Amen. Don't worry about what the others think. But you can dance. You can dance before the Lord. So that you can express the worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory. And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, the call Looked through a window. She looked out of the eyes. Your whole nature began to look through your eyes. And look at the circumstances. Start saying, Oh, I'm not feeling very well. I'm in a great battle. People are looking at me. My school friends are looking at me. All the others in the church are looking at me. But now it's time to but I'm not worried about what other people say. I got something to celebrate about. And you got something to celebrate. We can dance. We can dance. And not worry about what the tall things. Because we can dance. 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 We can it was just so full of the glory of God. He couldn't contain it. If you would be like that, you just can't contain it. It's just too much. Amen. Amen. You just can't, you just gotta dance. You don't care what you dance like. You know that I don't care. Because I don't dance very good. But I did I think I did And it doesn't matter what it looks like. I mean, I've been in a convention in New Zealand. Amen. I was in a convention in New Zealand. New Zealand. And the preaching was so powerful. The whole place was erupting. What are you blacking up there too? And there were people in there. Well, they were Real conservative white men. And they were talking about what they were doing. They had never danced before. I said, "I'm a baby." And they were dancing. And they were going like this. 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 I said that man's never danced before. But he's got something to dance about. And he doesn't care what people think. 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 She begins to despise. 
to her. And you've listened to her. And then the presence left you. We've been there. I'm sure you've been there. Someone's been there. But tonight, it's a night to cross over. It's a night to go beyond the camp. Because you are loved in heaven. And heaven is waiting for you. David said, Tomorrow I'll do better than that. Amen. So David is responding to the call. He says, Tomorrow I'm going to do better than that. Yes, sir. Amen. He said, Don't you know I was dancing unto the Lord? The prophet says this. He crossed over. Amen. He was in the land of the promise. He was in the land of the promise. He was in the land of the promise. He had lost all self styles. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, we kind of make up who we are in our mind. But that's not who you were before the world began. But, but God is wanting to restore you to the way you were before the world began. And if you're five years old today, if you're five years old today, or you're ten years old today, or eleven years old today, or fifteen years old today, whatever age you are, before the world began, we're all the same age. So don't let age hold you back tonight. It's time to cross over. Even though those young children, if it's time to cross over, even though you're old, 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 Amen. And muck of the world. Le, 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 so, le, le, he was so happy to know that the ark was coming into the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prophet says this. Prophet says this. And going beyond the camp. We are. What do you want to tell? I'll come. Then David returned to bless his household. And Michal, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David. And said, How glorious was the king of Israel today? Who uncovered himself today in the eyes of all the handmaids. As one of the vain fellows shamelessly uncovereth himself. Amen. As one of the vain fellows that shamelessly uncovereth himself. Oh, Let me tell you. That's the greatest compliment that David could have received. That David was not ashamed to reveal who he really is. And I want you tonight to have no more shame to truly reveal who you are tonight. Like right now in your seat. Because see. The old nature because was despising David. But David had shamelessly uncovered himself because the seven seals had opened in his life. Amen. The seals had opened in his life. And now that the coming of the Lord has come down into your heart, it's unsealed your life. So by the revelation that you're given, you're responding to the revelation. The deeper the revelation, the more profound the revelation, the greater the worship. The stronger the wine. 
Get a more what be in there how in in the mat. If you drink strong wine, what can not be in the mat? You're gonna get drunk. Yeah. Look down. So if you're sitting in a message church, oh, you tomorrow gonna get your money for twenty years. That no wine in there, so we paid. And you've never been drunk. I said now what down. You need to come to the altar. So I took a more altar in so that you can get drunk. We don't down because it's time to cross over. We can't get drunk with ten and a half dollars in. It's time for all that knowledge that you've learned. Amen. It's time for all the knowledge in your head. You know what? You two jokes are coming from your heart. To come down to the heart. What are you? You feel like you're moving in your heart. Because that's where you'll feel it. You come on, you try, you try, you come on. That's where you can respond. You come home after an hour, fetch like that. And when you're in the battle, but I won't do it. And everything's going wrong. You look up and say, "It's a bit of what." You can dance. You can come out, get down, and you can leap. You come out, because you know. Amen. The coming of the Lord is within you. What the hell are you talking about? The Lord has come to your city. We do not get left out by your heart. For those of you that weren't here last night, Amen. For those of you that weren't here last night, bye bye. Let me know if I saw more. Bye bye. The ark stayed in Shiloh for four hundred years. I reckon it was it was to go Shiloh for me. Why I was so yeah four hundred. Shiloh means tranquil and silent. Shiloh era era imina. Shiloh means silent. Shiloh imina imina ore si tu. So when Israel crossed over Jordan, there is a little a Jordan, and the mighty angel came down with the sword. The galol le le galol le fulo aga katusha. They put the ark in Shiloh. By the way, the ark was Shiloh, and then they carried on with the message. By the way, the galol le and they went through a time of judges. By the way, the galol was the way the galol was going to judge. Until finally David was on the throne. We find that the future aluko zitulo zamos, and it was under the ministry of David. By the way, the galol was going to judge David. That he brought the ark out of Shiloh. Or Ubu Shite Araka from Shalom, and he put the ark in the city of David. Aria Araka Mo dropping at David in a moving tent. Amen. Hello. In a moving tent. Mo Tai 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 Yau Mu. Here it is. It's your night. This is where we put it. Do my way now. Put it in a moving tent. Yeah, give me get that Yau Mu. The seventh seal is speaking today. Amen. The seventh seal is speaking. The Makuta of Shuba Abule from a moving tent. And so it's time to celebrate. So it's time to respond. The Lord will inhabit your praise. The Lord will inhabit your praise. Amen. 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 So as the ark was coming and David was dancing around the ark. Hey, hey, God. David wasn't alone. David was with him. He was dancing with somebody. Babylon no more. There was somebody else dancing. No one ever took Babylon no more. It was our king. We are king. You know the Lord. What's up, man? He celebrates with you. Who we? Who we? Who we? Who we? Who we? It's not just one way. I I got to like David. Two way thing. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. When you rejoice, they will talk. God rejoices. We do not talk about it. He's rejoicing with you. We talk about it. Oh, Peter! God is with you. Would you want to read? There was a tongues and interpretation. We are going to learn why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a tongues and interpretation. Oh, we are going to learn my limit. The literature. And the sermon spurned in church age. Can I go? 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 Prophet says this. Prophet says, God has an awful time preparing his man. Mudimu ubale na wele ora sebuti a prepare wana wana baha. But you see, he could never, he never could get a hold of Moses. Abas abas abasa hulu tara Moses till Moses got out of his own man-made camp. Ofi zele la Moses ai chwaga ara kampa ya hai ya ikutire choyo. You've got to get out. So chuto. You've got to get out of the boat. So I do talk about us there. You can't stay the same way and expect a different result. Oga said, "Oga no do la mutu atwa na mara wanyaka tipwele je fa pane." If you just stay the same for many years, Oga no do la mutu atwa na mi wa mi chinch. Get out of the boat. He got us there. Walk on the water. Simple on the name. Let's start to walk with him. He's not going to simple yet. He's not he's not a, he, at that time he was he was inside Peter. Ah ah ah. He's inside you. Amen. Amen. And so you can walk on the 
encourage you. Get out of the boat. Start walking. Claim your land. Walk on much. Amen. Claim your land. Keep claim Hallelujah. Amen. He had to get out of his own man-made camp. And there are many message man-made camps. But we're becoming past that age now. Amen. We're past that age. We've come out of that time. Because the Lord is doing a mighty work. To bring all the grain into one golden. Amen. To make the grain gold. And we're all speaking the same thing. Because the real true God called God anointed men. Amen. This true God called God anointed men. Who are preaching this message. Under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. And it's not just the ministry. But the whole body. Is raising up together. And is cooking together. Because the coming of the Lord. Is not just in the ministry. The anointing is not just in the ministry. You are part of the ministry. We are all in this together. The gifting is in you too. And this is not just a one man speaking. We are all in the sermon. We are all in the sermon. This is your hour. This is your time. This is your time right now. This is your time to cross over. This is your time for the Holy Ghost. This is your time for change. This is your time to come out of any man-made idea. This is your time of the breaking of religion. You don't have to act anymore. You don't have to be ashamed. Because God has healed you. He's taken out those things about He's you. He's made you new. And if He hasn't yet, tonight is your night. I want you to be unashamed. I want you to stand before the Lord. Let Him come. Amen. Let Him come in. And make himself known to you. I can give you some more. Because tonight is your night. Do you believe that? Why do you make us out? Can you have the musicians, please? If you could play one of those worship songs, a real nice worship song. Hallelujah. You know, worship to you. I'm just saying, bring me a minstrel. Amen. Bring me a minstrel. Get in this and take a minstrel. Oh, Amen. Amen. We're going to just get into an atmosphere. And I want those that are filled with the Holy Ghost to cross over with me. That we're going to create an atmosphere together. Because there's others in this room that need it. And you need a change. And you need help. And you need healing. They need the seventh seal. They need David in their life. They need to become unashamed. Amen. Amen. And so we're going to create an atmosphere Because there are people in this room who are going to get the baptism of the Lord. The coming of the Lord is at hand. We're about to leave the earth. And we don't want to leave one hoof behind. Let's have faith together. Let's believe that our children are coming tonight. Let's believe God. Because I believe that there is a time right now. An opportunity in this room. What about for people to cross over? For people to cross over. Amen. For people to cross over. What about you? What about you? What about you?
right now. What is right? Don't delay. Let's go out. Turn up. You may not wake up in the morning. This may be your last call. So why don't you cross over now? Why is our cross my body right? And let God show you who you really are. What you're made for. It's your time tonight. And you'll have the joy of the Lord. You'll have the strength of the Lord. He'll give you peace. He'll give you purpose. He'll give you a reason to live. You'll never be born again. Your life will become exciting. And grace will become amazing. And you will rejoice forevermore. Because God has plans for you. He's got celebration for you. He's got joy for you. So why don't you come? Why don't you cross over tonight? The ark is standing in the Jordan for you. The waters are parted for you. It's time for you to enter in and come into a true living relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because we are going home soon. And we're waiting for you. We're waiting for you. The whole of heaven is waiting. Eye has not seen. Ear has not heard. The things which God has prepared for them that love Him. Amen. So why don't you cross over tonight? Hold nothing back. It's time for revival. We're going to the last race. This is the last lap of the race. And then we're going to go up. So I just encourage you. Let your, your heart be stirred. Let's finish the race.
How many enjoyed the word of God? How many crossed over? Listen to the Bible. You must know that children of God. It is important to overcome certain things for good. After you have failed it, you must defeat it for good. Because one day it is going to kill you. Some of the things that when you are fighting with, you must fight to your best. When a snake comes out, come out already ready. There's no there's nothing like so called. If it bites you, it has got the same poison. Sin has got no small sin. Sin kills children. We must cross over. There are certain things that you must defeat. And you must die for good. God bless you, my precious brother. Did you enjoy the name of God? Did you enjoy our colors? Let's work in a little bit. There's something that God has given me. It's a secret. It is a secret of David. Let's work in a little bit. What a church who doesn't worship God. The church that cannot enter into the street and becomes a, a formal church. That's why I'm coming for Sophie. For Sophie. That church is going nowhere.
Tell me one thing. I want to get I want to get there. 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 I want to get That what will come and you worship the little is only worship. What about the very last of the terror in the young man? You think that what is the position that worship will continue? What is the ages to come? That is my job. Come and let us talk. But we shall not walk out. Where were you? They asked him, Where were you? When the children of God were worshiping. Where are the children of God? Where are the children of God? You love God. Lock up the wedding. Go away your behavior. Lock up the terror telling. Go away all the questions. You know you have a long come out and you say. The things that you live on the one that is you is got to telling. Now my Lord for you. Come on go out for one of the good you do. Who let on the boot speak well to each other. Then you will have a and you cross over to the nature what's like oh my god it is surprising children of god when you were swimming i got my mom and so five other people dancing all of them some guys are sitting there you can go and amara says city and say you find that the water comes at you he says this one was a pain is like is is and i want me god and i was on me god and you know what people like me god says is you on now and you know Yes, the sister that the husband is, is dancing. No, I mean, the husband is dancing like this. And now she she be shaking. She's so disappointed. She shaking about. You are. You don't even know how to do it. You are the best at it. You don't go for that, but you say shaking about. So you're going up and down in front of people. You are disappointed in me. Give me a moment, get ready, give me a moment. This is the spirit of change. You people of Mulej, be careful. Le nama is from Mulej. Mama Mulej. Hope that they You must be very careful because yes. you are sliding into formality. Le tsala mulo. You are trapped into that formality and denomination. The formality of the church. You are too demand worship by you only. That and that is wrong. I or is not there and I I am not that man. Can I hear your sound?
ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬਾਕੀ ਸੀ ਮੁਝੇ ਮਾਰ ਰੋਜ਼ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਫਾਸ ਕਰਨਾ ਬਾਕੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨਾਲ ਚਾਹ ਸੀ ਸਾਉਣੇ ਬੋਲ ਫੋਸ ਉਹ ਤੋਰੀ ਨੇ ਮੈਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮਾਫੀ ਲਾ ਰਹੀ ਹਾਂ ਮੁਝੇ ਚਿਚੀ ਮਾਵਾਲੇ ਦੋ ਚਾਹ ਯਸ ਵਾਚੀ ਹੋਸੇ ਕਮਿਲੇ ਮਿਆਰ ਨਾ ਰਹਾ ਬੋਲੇ ਨਾ ਰੋਹਨ ਰੇ ਬੋਲਨਾ ਕਾ ਬੀਤੇ ਸੇ ਸਨਾਤਾ ਰਖੋਸੀ ਚ ਯਸ Jamalo bar ji shini ma abutona jablo sukhoshi mara ritine ni mona ari le ka khoshi ma bar ji snatha moga bena ga bona sukabile bona wele mara na urubone wa retseba ibilo ali kishama la eja ibilo ali kishali pilo chari na yes ma bo ga ba kala bar ji pilo chari na mara na ri akhona bor amen ri akhona bor hallelujah ya fala bubina ya fala ope la mudi ma pelang ya le buga ke maga uta ba ye khoshi ma ba le ke kilo chi ke me thenge me bi me thenga ri sisi me thenga khane jo ka ma ka ro se o ri bi ji o ri bi ma si ma ba respond the way to appropriately no ro ta te se me ni responses ta ka ma ka ro se ti pala respond in the way to ma ra ba na ma ji ba ni muru bi ji respond appropriately you know what we feel divine respond for the divine word to bring the divine results you know what happen in this world you are living in ramadan was the crash of me kind of the way we are the crash of ramadan was the tradition journey now the crash of formality you know what we are planning now you know we are going to clean it all at the rock of god we are going to win it there is a restoration by Malakaya for
Tomorrow, I bring this a breakfast before that. Cast your pen. 